downtown Tip City, you're going to notice something a little different. Every single storefront here on Main Street is taken and open for business. Just for mommy, newborn, um, we have the wishing you well just for the bride. Tanya Brown is passionate about pure homemade soaps and bath products. So much so, a couple of years ago, she gave up a career as a real estate agent and started living simply soap out of her kitchen. Initially, Brown sold her work at festivals and farmers markets, but last year. This building came for sale, and we just jumped on the opportunity to take our business to a new level. After just a couple days on the market, Brown and her husband bought the building. What well, needed a major facelift, so we, we kind of got an idea of how we wanted it to look and just started working. In the months since, they've completely rehabbed the structure, and today it has an updated folky feel that's as special as the soaps Brown sells. We just feel like, you know, sales are just, you know, growing every week. We just feel like, you know, things are just really catching on. We're, we're having return customers, which to us says, okay, you're doing something right. You know, anybody can buy a product once, but when they come back, you know that that you're, you know, that you're on the right track. And here's the interesting part of the story. Brown's business isn't the only one growing in downtown Tip City. In just the last seven months, eight new locally owned shops have opened their doors. City leaders credit the boom with the community's desire to keep downtown historic. But as far as a simple secret to success, they say it's an entire recipe. Well, very fortunate. Again, with Tip City has a lot of things um, in its favor. Again, we have a great school district, great neighborhoods, again, a very vibrant downtown. So there, there are a lot of positives about Tip City. And business owners like Brown couldn't agree more. We just have so much to offer, so much variety in Tip City. And coming up on November 12th and 13th, in just a couple of weeks, many of these stores are having their annual Yuletide Winter Gathering. It's a great time to come up to Tip City and find out what's so special about these shops and support your local businesses. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.